Welcome back to another daily video, guys. We're at Tiny Fest San Diego. It's a weekend long event showcasing a lot of people's tiny home, custom van builds, professional van builds. There's tons of vendors here for van life related things, off road related things. I have my ambulance parked in the, what they call the Nomad Village, where basically they showcase people who actually live in their rigs. You leave your door open, people come in and out all day long and you kind of show them everything, answer all their questions. So I've been just literally answering questions and having people in and out all day long it's been crazy it's been really fun though i like showing people the ambulance and people that are thinking about getting into this type of thing so it's been really cool to talk to all these people and show them my build everyone's been very interested in it which is awesome because i put a lot of work into this so it's really cool to show people but i'm gonna hop on the e-bike and let's go do a lap around this entire place and i'll show you guys kind of what's going on because there's buses vans school bus like everything it's crazy so let's go first let's get up on the roof Check it out. Full size school bus, heavily customized. Pro Masters everywhere, another school bus. We got tra Ford Transit vans. We got the regular Ford vans. More giant school buses everywhere. Short school bus. Some sort of mail truck, I think, that was converted. That one looks like a freaking like, tour bus type thing over there. Giant school buses everywhere you look. Way over in that section are all the tiny homes. Like basically tiny homes that are like on trailers that you can buy, take them somewhere, drop them, and live on a plot of land somewhere in the middle of nowhere. It's pretty much over for the day. I kind of wanted to wait until everyone was done touring the ambulance. I didn't want to just leave it unattended and let people in and out all day on their own, even though I did that for a while. Let's go around and um, I'll give you some tours of some of the vans that are still open because a lot of the people left for the day. Ooh. Got the Pro Master. This is my friend Sarah's van right there. A lifted van right in front of mine. Another Pro Master. Check this one out. So, this is my friend Lindsay's van. She builds vans and sells them. This one is currently for sale. This thing is super freaking nice. Got a huge bed up there. A little control center up here. The seats that swivel around backwards. Oh wow, gigantic garage area. All the electronics up in there. Oh wow, look at this thing. This, uh, this is a Sprinter with some sort of body on it. This thing is crazy looking. Let's go back and grab the bike. Think this one is four wheel drive, four wheel drive sprinter van right there. Potentially another four wheel drive one, I'm not even sure. I don't even know what this thing is, but it is crazy. Yeah, I'm not a fan. They taste okay. That thing is wild. Oh, wow. Can I take a seat? Yeah. Got the lagoon table. Spin all the way around, just like in my ambulance. This thing is pretty dope. I love the little lighting up in here. It's nice, man. So you build these and sell these? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We build them right in Oakland. No way. Yeah. This is the tiny home section. This one was my favorite right here. This patio folds up. Little bathroom right on the right hand side. This one's made by Jay Clay. So check it out. Bathroom there. Massive kitchen with huge ceilings. Beds way up on top. Loft up there. This is like, this is wild. It's got a freaking poster oven oven thing in the wall huge couch lounge area with a tv you can park this thing somewhere with crazy views drop down your patio and walk out to some wild views and you can just tow this wherever you want solar all over the roof got that rooftop pop-ups the shipping container homes i haven't even seen this 
I think this is like a salon type thing. This is super freaking nice. Who knew shipping containers could be like this? Some more over there. We got these little mini guys. Wanderlust vintage trailers. Let's rip through the inside real quick before they close everything. All the vendors are pretty much shut down for the day, but I can still give you guys an idea of everything in here. They do little panel talks over here where if you're interested in getting into van life or tiny homes or anything, they have people answering questions. So everybody out here giving little presentations on how to get into it, how to start. Pretty freaking cool. This is a lot crazier than I thought it was gonna be. These things, these gotta be well, like 150,000, something like that. Oh, here we go. $20,000 tiny home right here. That's the move. They were giving out demo rods on all these foldable e-bikes. Some of them aren't foldable, but I mean, demo rods on all those. Had a big Renogy station. This is a lot of the, a lot of the parts I have in my ambulance for the electrical and solar is all from Renogy. Well, really nice four x four van right there. This one's for sale or for rent. Oh my God, I really thought this was a person standing here. I'm gonna cruise back outside. All right, let's check it out. Oh yeah. Got a full size bed here, a little single maybe. Got another full size up here. Well, let's go upstairs. This is where it's at right here. Having parties up on the roof. You can have a whole bunch of people up here. This thing is legit. There's the ambulance right over there. This is badass. This one might be my favorite one, just because of the whole party setup up top. Thanks, man. Yeah. Uh, Appreciate it. The rooftop is like unbeatable. It's so fun. It's Especially crazy. when there's all these people just cruising around. Yeah. And see music. Exactly. Yeah. Cheers. Never seen one like this. Heck yeah. It's actually a massive bed. It's like a full size bed in here. Got the entire kitchen set up. And then a huge table right there, which it looks like that drops down and makes another bed. That's crazy. Such a tiny little trailer. With so much stuff inside it. And then just more badass lifted sprinters everywhere. This is the one with that rooftop on it. Let's go over to one of the full-size school buses because I don't think I've ever actually been in a full-size converted school bus. Like ever. Let's see if we can check one out. Whoa. <laughs> it smells delicious in here. Oh uh, yeah, so whipping up some lemon orzo or something. Oh wow, so you guys got like bunk bed setups, master bedroom went back in there. You guys did a great job. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. I mean, everything's maxed out, right? Oh, so, yeah. Alright, what a world we live in. <laughs> Thank you, man. Yeah, Appreciate no worries, man. Check it out. out. Yeah, you too. Check this thing out. I really like this one right here. Pretty badass. <laughs> Sorry. This is just like a straight up motorhome. I feel like I don't even know if they converted this one. I think this one might actually it just came this way. I don't know. This schoolie right here reminds me of mine. It's so similar to it. Same color scheme. Oh, this is like a Mercedes box truck? No way, I've never actually seen a box truck converted. Huge deck on the back. I guess that, oh yeah, it just folds right up. And a giant rooftop deck. Oh, there's another ambulance. No way, I didn't even see them. We'll head back to the ambulance. We're actually here right now. There's those front brakes of mine. All right, home sweet home. Check it out, Renogy gave me this solar powered flashlight. 
they came through and did a little tour of the ambulance. I think they're gonna use on their social media or something, I'm not even sure. But I had like so many freaking people in and out of here all day today. It's 6 p.m. That's crazy. I, it sucks I didn't get to film anything all day because I just had people inside here all day. I set up my GoPro in the corner and just got a time lapse of people coming in and out tomorrow as well. I don't know if I'm gonna stay for tomorrow. One of my friends is coming down into town. He really wants to go out downtown San Diego. So I might go out and meet up with him. So I'll probably pack up some of my stuff, load the bike up and head to downtown San Diego. I don't know, we'll see.